Hi guys, uh, I decided to do a YouTube video on, on how to uh, wire up uh, a single pole light along with a um, three-way switch coming from one power source. This is my power line right here in the middle that's coming from the panel um, to come into the box. Um, my mission is to take this power and split it between this switch here which is going to control a storage closet light which is single pole and then split it to here where I'm going to be putting a three-way switch on a dimmer so um, so one cable supplying these two switches this is already set up for on from a different line for a different power source so um, that's already done so but now I need to set up these two I could have came off with this one also but that power is across the room to supply it. this is just a switch to control the three-way three-way lights so there's no power on this light it's on the opposite of my uh, my den area so I need to split the power between these two cables all right for one power coming in so uh, I'm no electrician let me uh, disclaimer I'm not an electrician um, I'm just a DYI guy who is doing his own construction things that I can't do I will contract things I, I can't handle I will do myself that's why I'm DYI <laughs> and uh, um, so this is how I'm doing it uh, consult your own um, municipality um, if you're not sure get a licensed electrician but um, by all accounts um, this is not too difficult to do so um, just document and show you how I'm doing it okay all right just uh, to let you know what I'm which switches I'm using uh, closet area I'm gonna be just using a single pole um, Lebanon um, switch I picked this up uh, at my local Home Depot you can get it at Lowe's so this this is going over here and for my dimmer which I already have up for the other side of the room I'm using this one the rocker dimmer with the, with the slider alright and that's the model number the D SL06 so these are the two I'm going to be setting up in this box here um, and this here this probably should be a dead space I'm going to put a plate over it this is for something else if I ever decide to do any more wiring for anything I have an extra box I can do so um, so yeah so those are the two switches I'm using and let's get this going see how it's going to turn out I'm also going to be using these these type of connectors, these push connectors. All right, they're replacing um, the traditional wire nuts. Wire nuts are still good; you still can use them, but I just find it much easier by stripping the wire using this type of connector. So I think these are much easier. I bought a a whole bunch of these um, just to have on hand. Um, since I'm doing a lot of work at the house, I found these to be much more um, easy to deal with um, opposed to trying to use traditional wire nuts and twisting it, twisting the wires. Which again, it gets the job done, but I like these much better. So um, I'll put a link on what type I'm using. Again, pick this up uh, at my local Home Depot. Uh, I do recommend them. Uh, all right. Okay, so. Again, this is looking. This is the the wire that's coming from the power. Um, this is for my going to my switch and to the lights in the closet, and this is going to the other uh, three-way switch that's across the room. All right, um, I'm gonna use one of these clamps here. I'm gonna put all three of these ground wires into this one wire. All right, and then come out with a pigtail to clip 
into the ground on this on this wire so everything will still be grounded okay so again the power's off uh, what I'm gonna do the first thing you do it's most most common it's much easier to deal with uh, let's get your wires all point out of the way all right I'm uh attach all the green I mean sometimes they're green but all the copper wire these are your ground so let's get these all connected together and out of the way since it's the easiest to do so my hot wire has a, a ground the switch that's going to the the cable that's going to the light for the closet has a ground and a ground that's going toward uh, my three-way switch it has a ground all right so I'm gonna get those all connected and I'm use I'm gonna use one of these uh, three-way splitters the kit uh, or connectors or four-way connectors to get all these grounds connected and the simplest way to do it is just uh, push it in all right and it will take and at this time and when you can uh, if you feel like you got too much little wire you can trim it down which I think I got a little too much ground wire so I'm gonna just trim it back a little bit um, I recommend also guys if you got you dealing with this get, get yourself a deep box so you can have these wires pushed back and they're not in the way and it's easy to get your stuff in so I just find that getting a deep box works out uh, gives you a little so you're not fighting getting your wires back into your box that in there and what it is you can see through here and you can see your your cables inside I don't know if you can that'll come up you can see all the brass fitting all right so I got these three hooked up now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna split off for this all right okay what I'm gonna do with the with the ground here I'm gonna split off of it and I have a little another three-way one and so I have one more I need to ground the switches so being that this is only four I'm gonna come out attach this one to this and it just give me these two leads here to attach to my my switches uh, ground screws so I'm just gonna hook that up that way okay it looks something like this again just the way I'm doing it so it looks like that the ground from the wires are coming into this I put a little uh, extension to go into this plug here which I can fold up together like this now these two wires will get attached to both my switches uh, ground terminals alright so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna push this wire back into the box out of the way it'll give me room to work with all my other stuff okay and these I got two leads here for my for my t ground terminals when I'm ready for them so that'll be for my my screws all right uh, so now I'm gonna deal with the the neutral wire, all right, which is your white wire. Um, the white wire is coming out of my power. I got a neutral wire that's going to my switch, and I got a neutral wire here. Now, as you can see, I already put a a a, a splitter or a pigtail, whatever you want to call these these things here. Uh, sorry, I don't know the correct name of it. I'll post it up what it is. But it replaces the the little it replaces this thing here uh, 
Uh, so a neutral, neutral, neutral. So what, what I'm doing, I'm using the four one. I do have three ways, but I'm using four because I have an extra box. And if I ever wanted to add another power cable to this or another switch someplace, then um, I have that option. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a, a, a four way, um, I guess washer for this. All right. So I'm coming up, taking the hot or the hot wire neutral. I'm gonna start it off. Put that in there. All right. Take the other neutral that's going to my light in my closet. Put that neutral together. Plug it in. And the neutral that's going to my three-way switch. Also, I'm gonna plug that in. Alright, so again. So I got the, all the neutrals hooked up. Coming from the hot wire, it's gonna split off. Going to my three-way wire, and going to uh, to the regular uh, fourteen-two wire. All right. So that's all plugged up. I'm gonna push that back in the box. All right, guys. So this is my power wire here. That's coming. That's in the middle. I'm gonna take that power wire, all right, and I'm gonna split it with this here. As you can see, I got two wires coming out, but this power has to be split between two switches, all right. So, mount this in here, all right. So, that's in there now. So, now I got the power wire coming out, and now these two. Leads here are going to go to my independent switches. Now you can, you're going to have an extra black wire, and that one, the, co uh, the common wire, will be going to my light. So all right, that's, that makes a circuit. So right now, if you put these two together, or you put your two fingers here and the power's on, you complete the circuit. Right now, the circuit is not completed. So what I'm going to do, all right, I have. Remember, I had the pigtails for the for the ground. I'm hook up the ground to this, and then I'm gonna take one of these leads, the hot wire, plug it into one of these terminals, and then take the other terminal that's going to my light and put it on the other side. And I complete the switch. So you go up, up and down. You turn it off, on, off, on. That completes the circuit. All right. So I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna do that now, get this hooked up and get it mounted in. So then I can come to and work on the the three-way switch. Alright guys, alright now I got the the garage, oh my garage, excuse me, the closet switch hooked up, all right, again, working off that one power line that's feeding the power to this one here, that's now powering, ah, excuse me, that's now powering my storage closet that I'm making, as you can see, off, on, off, on. All right, so that's how you get power to that switch. Now I have to get power to the to the three-way switch that's going in this slot right here, which I'm about to hook up now. So let me continue on with that. All right, guys. Here's the finishing product. Um, one power line feeding power to both switches now. As you can see, I got the dimmer switch on. Um, that's powering my lights. That's up here now. And as you can see, 
turn it on, up and down, and up and down. And the other switch is right across the room over there for this three-way switch. All right, so again, one power line supplying these two switches. One is controlling the den area, and the second one switch is controlling the, the closet that I showed. And this one here is just going to be a dead location. This is just a three-way wire. I had this going to another power source. Um, having decided, just to, I'm gonna leave it here. Just for uh, if I need to power, I need a switch for another location. So this is gonna just cover this up uh, with a dead plate, and just have the two switches exposed, and that's it. So that's how you put together um, two switches over one power source. All right. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and understand this video. Um, again, consult your licensed electrician if you're not sure. But um, you take your time, you'll be able to do this yourself. All right, guys, enjoy. Give a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.